Is that time where we get touched? It is time. Come on, let's do this. Who are you, the priest? For a, fe- <laughs> oh, a shit. feminine. Oh touch. shit! <laughs> Shout out to all the Christians in the middle. But ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> GP, <laughs> are you with me? Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we at the church ain't going nowhere. GP, are you with me? What your mama say? <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> look, look, look. What your mama say? I had somebody tell me when he was a kid, he used to say, oh, my nigga say. And his mama was like, stop it. That's not what he said. He time. might as well. I feel like Kirk Franklin does have a background, though. He got a dog side. most definitely got one. You can look at him. Y'all know about that porn addiction? Y'all know about his porn addiction? Hold on. He did what? He had a porn addiction. Said a porn addiction. Porn addiction. Kirk Franklin. Yes. Oh, Kirk. GP, is you with me? He had a bad porn addiction. Yes. What's up, Kirk? What's up, Kirk? That's what GP Hello. meant to him. Oh, it was good poor hub, XXA. <laughs> good pussy, are you with me? Oh, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> me and the church ain't going nowhere. Oh, Where's man. that goddamn collection plate? <laughs> oh, man. Kirk Freakland. <laughs> That's exactly A whole new definition of rain down <laughs> on me. In fact. Oh, God. Let me let it fall <laughs> No, no, no. No, no, I, I have participated. I'm not going to hell. Oh, <laughs> I swear to God. ask a question. <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, shout out to Kurt. Yo, See wow. your web history. <laughs> all right, so look. <laughs> it His is t- eye is on. No, all right, all right, all right, go ahead. What is eye on? <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Does Jack Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm playing. I'm sorry. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm I ain't going. I'm, I'm just going to do him. Just yeah. joking. I'm, I'm off it. Just joking. Because yeah. I don't want y'all to yes. be extra. Nope. I'm just playing. All right, so Jesus. Let's still look like plows. Going to hell with well sanitized hands. <laughs> I am. With, with chancletas. <laughs> <laughs> got to right, relax. Let's go. Because ladies. Let's the first thing's on fire. <laughs> All right. I'm not. Come on. Let's go. All right. Come on. Woman's touch. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen. It is time for a woman's touch okay. with the one and only Miss Erica Kimberly. Ma'am, you may take it away. Away, away, away. Here we go. One of my favorite shows of all time is the gift that keeps on giving known as Girlfriends. And there is a character on Girlfriends who is a most favorite of mine. Because she ain't me, but she certainly represents parts of me that I wish, almost wish were there. Her name is Monica. And once upon a time, Monica met William, the lawyer. And she saw for William things that he didn't even see in himself. And she Uh just knew. Oh, this is the one. You're going to do this and this and this and this. And I'm going to come in. I'm going to be this to your this. I mean, she really, when she first laid eyes on him and got with him. She She guided him. She really, yes, had a business plan for their relationship. Um... But at the end of the day, it came off a little strong and unattractive. So I want to know from the guys, have you been with, or do you have the courage to tell, a girl that she's coming on strong? Huh? And ladies, have you been in a position where eh, you came off strong or you certainly wish you did? I'll start. <laughs> Look at everybody. She couldn't wait. <laughs> Go ahead, sugar. Okay. Go ahead, sugar. 
<laughs> I almost wish. I almost wish. Okay, let me let me tell y'all this. And when Monica comes off strong and she means it, she scares Williams off. Like, which basically means that he ain't the one. Sis, he's not the one. He's scared. He doesn't have the backbone. He needs to be rocked. He doesn't have the posture. So I wish that I had came off strong. I kind of wish that I had shown a man that to me, you got to make money. You got to have a J-O-B if, if you, you want to be with me. me. I mean, I really do wish that I had come off strong because that probably would have exposed the man early. And I could have probably learned lessons then that said, okay, look, don't do this. Do this, but don't do this. Like, I just wish I had those lessons so you felt like you was too nice? I felt like I was too nice. Oh yeah. Okay. Too nice, too easy. I think but I felt learning yourself though. I feel like her question was more so along the lines of if a female is here to construct your life because she see this that shit is not together, how do you how do you um how do you perceive that? Is that welcomed or is that yeah, shunned. Right. See, and me coming off strong would have been like me able to tell a man, like, you know, you really ain't doing shit with your life. Like, you know, no no disrespect to the commercial, but I really would have been like, look at you. You're sitting on your mama couch. You oh ain't doing God. shit. Oh, Go shit. ahead. Okay. You better find your job. Oh, shit, Everest. Yes, right. Everest. You know, you know. Oh, you know, so shit, like, Everest. I could have definitely hit him with a Mount Everest commercial because... As it was, like I said, I wasn't negotiating the best terms for me because here it was, I'm doing something. I'm trying to get it. What about you? Like, mediocre? I don't want no mediocre. I don't. If I had come off strong, I would have been able to get that out there early and he would not have wasted my time in his. Because you don't have me. You can't claim me to this day. Mm -hmm. I feel like... I mean, you just sound like you're talking to somebody know. who's just waiting to receive all of this on the end. <laughs> like, I'm a he could, I just need his who hands you, lifted who you up, to? receive it with open arms. You need to put a deer in front of it and put the okay. name after this. So job. let's be real. All oh right. God. Let's, let's just put it out there. Jazz, you had a response. Um, I feel what she's saying because um, I've oftentimes been the quiet okay i see the potential but you ain't there yet but we can work on it mm-hmm. like you always mm-hmm. see you, as women i think we always see further than what they see mm-hmm. initially mm-hmm. and um like she said if you if we I, i'm soft-spoken when it comes to certain stuff so like if if you speak up mm-hmm. at it initially it don't leave no room for error you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying like it put everything on the table mm-hmm. okay where why i love that <laughs> Take your time, then. Right. Turtle. I feel like you're just blanking. Mm-hmm. I guess nothing. Man. What's going on in your eyes? Uh, he doesn't a know. <laughs> Have you been with a woman who's come off strong, or how did you receive a woman who was strong about her demands? Mm. I think it works. Shout out mm. Alex Trebek. Strong questions. Mm. Like that's crazy. I don't know. I feel like. Oh, this echo sounds kind of cool. But, um. <laughs> you ain't had no Taylor Port. <laughs> I feel like expressing how you want somebody to proceed. I'm not going to say that. Let's restart that. Let's start over. Okay. Stating exactly. your expectations from the beginning. Is always what you need to do. Even like mm-hmm. in, in, Amen. anything, in, anything. That relationship, like, Absolutely. if you're a basketball coach, like, look, motherfuckers, we gonna win. All right, mm-hmm. this is what we <laughs> gonna do. Your expectations are stated from the beginning. The They're last, not the, the last group of, old, the last sir. group of kids I had, <laughs> we won this motherfucker championship. <laughs> right. So y'all, we gonna do one the same thing, you know. And in a relationship, you gotta kind of state the same. We're going to win. Mm-hmm. You, but you with me. So I'm a winner. I only rock with winners. Mm-hmm. You see my homeboys right here, they winning, mm-hmm. all right? You supposed to be my girl, you gotta win too. You, you are a representation of me. Mm-hmm. We are we, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like whenever you put that out there, that gives the other person the opportunity then to either step up or step out. Mm. And so you would not be intimidated by a, a, a woman who's coming on strong. No, She's no, but see, but Women listeners and people watching a, on the YouTube channel, mm-hmm. 
that doesn't mean nag the fuck out of your man, okay? So there's a difference between stating expectations mm. and nagging. Mm-hmm. So state your expectations. Mm-hmm. If they aren't met immediately, move the fuck on, all right? Agreed. Do not nag for the next seven to eight years of your life, Ooh. wasting your time. Okay. It, if, if it ain't change, it ain't going to change. Yeah. Move on. You're wasting your time. You're wasting his time. You're wasting your time. Yeah. yeah. So there's a difference between stating expectations and nagging. All right, so get yeah. it, get it in, and get out. You can't make nobody do what you want them to do. Fact. They gotta realize that potential for themselves. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. if, if you ain't if you ain't talking to somebody that's already know how they want to move in life, mm-hmm. man, leave them alone. Mm-hmm. L- let us live. <laughs> I feel like that's why I said I feel like it comes with growth or evolution. Like you you gotta know where you are and what you want at that point. Most of the time, people get in a relationship that don't know who they are. So. They don't know what to put out there, what they what, what their real <coughs> expectations are. Like I said, I wish I had a whole face. I could tell you I don't like that shit. Mm-hmm. Mm. I think also the problem with guys are is hmm, as a woman you can you can be aggressive and you can express what you want, but guys will take that as you being too much and not understanding what you're putting out there so if i want you to be better for yourself i'm telling you this is what you should do this is where we should be and they don't recept they don't they don't they don't understand or receive the message that you're trying to give Mm -hmm. because it may be too strong for them but it's exactly what they need and right on time yeah um and a lot of that too is understanding your partner's love language and how mm. to talk to your partner. Very true. Mm. Because for me, through trial and error, Thanks. I've learned that, mm, yes, you cannot put your expectations of other people on them, but you do have a right to state how you feel or how something is making you feel. You don't have a right to disrespect a person. That's a question. And, there is a, a way to communicate to a man that he's not doing his job or he's not getting it done for you, but to, you don't get a chance. You're, it's not right for you to disrespect a, a man by telling him, you ain't shit, woo, 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 woo. like, no. You don't project, you know what I'm saying, your hatred of the situation on them. Yeah. That's what I've had to learn, like, through trial and error. So my question is for you, because you said the word nagging. Mm. And I think people use that word so widely. Mm. What's the difference between her stating her expectations and nagging? I, I know you said the time frame, like you need to move on after a certain amount of time. Seven years like, is nagging, okay? Six, if you're seven about years the same is nagging. Shit, if like, if you're talking about the same shit in seven years, seven, seven years, years is nagging. Yes, yes, okay. okay. Seven is right. the same thing. Okay. I'm not talking about, you know, you trying to give somebody a pep talk, trying to get them motivated, trying to get them mm-hmm. moving. Motivation is important. Everybody yep. needs somebody to motivate them Absolutely. every once in a while. Yep. Miraculous Sense believes it is important to create your own space and environment with absolute comfort. Well, comfort is their purpose. With their various two ounce, four ounce, and eight ounce size candles that contain amazing scents, such as lemongrass, lavender, sandalwood, vanilla, and many more that you can choose from. Plus, these candles burn up to six hours. Wow. So for your aromatherapy needs, or just to freshen up your space, place your order today by emailing MiraculousSense at gmail.com. That's MiraculousSense at gmail.com. You can also follow them on Instagram at Miraculous underscore sense. Don't get stressed and uncomfortable. Get Miraculous. Miraculous Sense, proud sponsor of the wildest radio show on the net, The Black Top. Everybody falls off their their horse and needs a little fire in their belly. Right. But there's there's an extreme to that. Hmm. It's, it's a it's a uh, hmm. like when you kicking somebody when they down like. That shit is no. It's a problem. But what it's a, about if you out. bringing somebody up when they're down? The y'all uh, motherfuckers don't appreciate that shit. Mm. Well, I feel like it depends mm. on how you take it because a lot of times people don't know how to deliver messages, and so just like with coaching, the same way you talk to the guy at the end of the bench, you can't talk to your star player like that. Yeah. Okay. But this is let's this keep is, it in basketball terms what? because if you've been on my team for five years. Mm. 
A, Fuck five I years. as a coach, hello, hold on. A, as a coach, I should know how to talk to you. I should know how to motivate you. Should. And if you're not being motivated, clearly you're making a decision that you just don't give a damn. That's why coaches It's time get for fired. you to get traded. <laughs> that's why get coaches off get fired of my with team. the quickness. Coach, but that, I done kept I somebody on the team for 10 years. But that's why you take the importance and take your time in scouting the player. I, you know mm, what I'm saying? Because uh, if you rush the process and be like, I just need a player and come on, on to the team, now you just, you don't is, even know how to use it. It is never that simple. No, I think I it's, it's, it never is that never, it's never that simple, boy. You you can look at all the attributes up and down. You can see what badges they got in 2K terms. <laughs> I don't care how you name it. Everything always look good from the outside. You know what I'm saying? So when you get to it and you peel back them layers, then you start to see who, who somebody really is. That's and the then beauty. you get to decide what you're willing to deal with. That's the beauty okay. of free agency. You, you know, know what I'm saying? <laughs> but see, but, but the problem, Go ahead, kick them off the team, bro. The, the problem is what, we, what we're dealing with is everybody wants it done so fast. You know what I realized about certain guys? That's true. Though? I will say this, Shane. I realize that certain guys, when you have a strong female who's confident where she is, when she starts to peel back those layers of you that you're not comfortable with, you start to downplay her. Mm. You don't acknowledge her. I can't you don't relate. give her the respect that she should get. Resentment. Because you're not where you should be. Now, I think we actually discussed this on a previous episode. I feel like we I did. We did, we did, because we, we, we came to the conclusion that y'all supposed to bounce and ping pong and balance off I of each other. I can't ping pong, ping pong, ping bounce off a goddamn wall. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> if you're not giving me nothing back, what am I ping Execu- pouncing, bouncing executive decision. to off? Make an executive decision. Okay, then some of y'all need to let that shit go. And that's a fact. I, like I said, like like, uh, Lambo, <laughs> boss. like Lambo said, <laughs> I can't relate. I can't, I can't relate. Because, <laughs> first of all, <laughs> I take too much pride in the women I select. Of course he played that. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> why would you play that? I'm so weak. Y'all childish. Hey, Perfect. Man. Perfect. Because I am. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> it's a proverb scripture. It said, it is better to live on the corner of a roof than to live with a nagging wife. Ooh. All right, so. Well, rule well. Two, two, 4.5 at the pink Here said, ain't no crying in the pink. Not at the pink. <laughs> but that's not what I'm the... saying. I feel like if you, okay, after seven years, if you've seen that dude is not capable, is not going to, Free is not. Getting released. Is yep. not. You know what I'm you saying? Agent. And you I had here. to I had to sit in my shit. Like I just had to get comfortable with the fact that dang, mm-hmm. like first of all, five out of them ten years, you was your fault. Okay, I'm a, I'm Erica. A, so your hold on, fault. wait. Can Let's I can I say something real quick? If you don't mind, I feel like at the stage that we are in our life, mm-hmm. it's still somebody who will put us right back in that shit. Uh, oh yeah, facts. Yeah. Everybody can say like I don't care. Got- Real yeah. heavy. But hold on. Before we even go with there, because mm-hmm. we got two women here who had basically like high school sweethearts, right? Mm-hmm. Basically. So think, let's think about this, though. This is what we never analyzed. Yep. All right. Are we, yeah. are we judging 15 and 16-year-olds, though? You know what I'm saying? I'm judging my 15, 16-year-old self. That's yes. what I'm saying. But you're not, a, you're a child. So you, you can't. You don't know no better. You can't be mad at you. I feel like you can't be mad at yourself yeah. or at your your ex because you guys were still figuring it out yeah 15 and so, 16 so like at 26 that's different but yeah. like so at 15 and 16 but it's just like how you explain how you needed the whole face like you needed to go through that in order to learn how to move better out like you. i wish i had one for real like we're not gonna keep bringing this up though i didn't say this to me time. Uh, <laughs> but i'm just thinking like <laughs> Even in that relationship, you needed to experience no, that. I'll be in order real to, though. So my whole face didn't teach me shit. My my homeboys taught me more than my whole face. I understand because uh, for me, it wasn't even having sex with another guy. It was just the uh, the being around, being around in the presence guys, of yeah. other men. Mm-hmm. Yeah, being around the presence of men who were treating me kind and nice, and yeah. and it wasn't yeah. me walking on eggshells, and it was me being reminded that you're beautiful, you're this, you're that, you're worth Yeah, it. but then that give. 
girls who really say that's my bro bad names because um, literally that's oh, my bro right, right. No, right. nothing Dude, like that yeah. no, but no, some no. girls but have no, got that ass friend that zone. with, with their bros face, yeah. bro got friend zone. like my bros are my bros if i call you my bro i call you my bro because it's never that's but they put you on like game that. being in their presence puts you on game in different that's ways so do you think having kids <laughs> like voided you from that whole phase like you mature faster like you just like I gotta be a mom. Or? For um, me, you probably a little bit for more me, yeah. responsible. It was, it was probably I don't know. Like I think it was a combination of just being in a relationship young. young. I, like I said, I was super loyal, mm-hmm. and then um, the kids too. Like I had to, I had to be a mom. I had to figure it out earlier mm-hmm. than most people did. Like I started having kids when I was like 20, mm-hmm. 19, yeah. 20. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Like uh, while everybody else clubbing and going to college yes. and all that stuff, I was taking care of kids. Yeah, yeah that kept definitely me from didn't have kids. A whole I was thirty, so yeah, my, my bounce back wasn't the same with a kid. Like bouncing back or leaving a dude with a clean slate with no kid, you're able to move freely. Yeah. Right, I but I wish I would have had a kid at that age. Why? Because I feel like I would have related more to my kid. I can I can say that. I can say that. But I wish um, I would have had a kid. I mean, it's, that age. it was pluses of having my kids young yeah. though, because like I definitely mm-hmm. get, I definitely can relate more to them, and I mm-hmm. understand. Like I, mm-hmm. it wasn't that long ago that I was in school, and you know right. what I'm saying? Like I can relate in those ways. But then I also exactly. I'll be forty and. They'll be old enough to go to take college. Care of going to college yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah, the baby sitting in the There's house. There's a whole other life for us to live for. <laughs> it but no, right. like that's one thing that I think I've regretted. But I, I appreciate me being able yes. to live my twenties out the that's way that right. I did because I learned right. a lot about myself. That's right. But I also wish that that's I did I have too. a kid yeah. younger than what I did because I would. I, we would understand each other a lot more. The, the I, I kind of talk trash to people who don't have kids. My, oh. my my oldest child is thirteen. I love that shit. Yeah, yeah. I that flat out love. Like, I, ain't, I ain't too old. I love. Yeah, because that you shit. understand. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, having a kid. The only thing, the difference I should say between those of us who have children and those who don't is maybe we just have a more realistic appreciation of life because it's like okay i ain't drinking just to be drinking for whatever no more it's like oh, i gotta drink i gotta make I got money some tomorrow. Real i gotta get up i got responsibilities Mature, right? Right? i gotta hustle right. i gotta get yeah. this money i gotta yeah, get stability like, i don't want to feel old yeah. like I, I feel like sometimes i feel old because oh, yeah. my son is two <clears throat> but i'm i'm really not old no, like i'm still all. energetic as, at all. as fuck yeah. but yeah. i just feel like when he gets to an age where like I might not know what the fuck is going on in me. Uh, are you going life. through terrible twos? No, I like I I'm I'm upset. I'm not upset. I'm just like, damn, why did I wait so long to have a kid? But God's plan, because yeah. I'm glad I did, because I'm a little bit more responsible than yeah. I was then. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think it. I think me having the kids young just definitely forced the maturity. It forced on you me. to be. Yeah, yeah. Responsible. it forced it forced it me. Forced. I mean, I was on my own earlier too, though. Mm-hmm. But like once I had the kids, it, it forced the responsibility, and then it. I think it made me think more about what my family thought, though, too. Yeah. Like, mm, you got to stay yeah. on your P's and Q's with yeah. your child. Yeah. Because family's the most judgmental when it oh, comes to I how you it. raise oh, your God. child. Because, you know, oh, the, the awkward moment is, like, you, so say you got three kids, right? right. So you got three, you got three kids. So your family already on, they talking about you behind your back, but they already. Yeah. And that's a fact. Cool. Three but, kids and I'm young. But you got three kids, so you need to you, you, you get a babysitter. Mm-hmm. So your aunt yeah. come over and watch your three kids, right? Now they thinking, there she go, go number four coming. She out there doing her thought stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, in the back of your mind, you just want to go out here and enjoy life. And in their mind, motherfucker, I got three kids at the house. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you just trying to get away and get a, right. get that freedom. In the back of their mind, they just saying like, she ain't never here. Because that's how they say. I can't even relate, y'all. Because they're serious. Like when I was like, I didn't, I didn't go out. Like uh. I, I stayed with my kids. Like I. My life was boring as fuck. Okay. It's okay. That's it okay. Was boring. This is Taurus female stuff. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> it was boring. No, like, I really didn't go out. I didn't, like, Look ask for nobody. Y'all. I ain't, like, nobody judging. Like, you ain't got no passport. No, stamps. I be feeling that's right. like this. I've, I've right. traveled. Okay. Yeah. But, yeah. but that, that happened when I got older. What you're saying is she didn't. It, she wasn't out here dating, having sex with just men. No. She wasn't getting it in like that. No, I was with the same dude. Yes. From, I mean, forever. And it's very frightening to come out of a situation like that and jump into 
a new relationship. And I think that's part of the reason why I was like, I'm going to be very honest and upfront with my dude about what it is I want. Because yeah, because I, don't I wasn't, do this I'm again. not built. For, I wasn't built for the dating life, for real, for real, y'all. Mm. Like it wasn't. It's not for me. So when you okay. got when you ladies are one of them in these relationships like that, like 10, 11 years. Mm-hmm. So when you watch stuff like Sex in the City, mm-hmm. like, do you, are you like envious? Are you like no? no I'm because if you that. watch Sex in the City, then you know Carrie was with Mr. Big for it's a minute before the they got married. It's well, not well, Sex in the City. They were together. She had a whole <laughs> other dude. They were like, together for, for, for a city. minute, like they off and together. on. But first they were dealing with each other off and on for a minute. First of all, it's not together. It's not Sex in the City. They on and on and off. Okay, we watch. First of all, I like Sex in the City. I ain't. They are, but we ain't talking about. I'm a New York girl, so yeah. I like sex. We ain't talking about them lily white hoes. Sex the First city, of all, y'all. don't talk about the Carrie. Part, because Carrie talk about John, Big Booty Jones. No, it's not Jones. <laughs> we talk about Booty Jones. We talk about Hood Meyer from Compton. <laughs> represent. <laughs> bitch, represent. And we talking about Wild Ass Lynn. What the fuck? So I when feel, you watch Girlfriends, you felt her though. We had to give the black Yeah, when well you, well you, well you, well you, well you, when 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 you, I'm not envious, but I am um, appreciative because I understand what that moment was supposed to have been for me in my 20s. If I, somebody changing the channel? See, that's the white folks. He said, all right, pack it up, sis. <laughs> Let's move on. White folks coming for you. That's been a woman's touch. I'm <laughs> like, I hope you Touch. Since y'all want to move the fuck on, cool. Y'all can find me at, uh, on Instagram, Erica Kimberly underscore. Facebook, just just look around. <laughs> the diary of a okay, because I'm ready to get into the topic. I'm ready to get into the talk. I'm ready to get into the talk about the physicality. Shit, that wasn't the topic. God damn, we were right. Going in. Going in. So going in. Going in. Got to move on. All right. I'm in yes. five. That Come was on. the topic. Let's get into this final subject because this is the one. <laughs> this is the one. Word. What's that? Yeah. Oh, Are no you bad. loving your fat ass partner still? <laughs> 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 or you want to tell their big ass to step? <laughs> hey man. <laughs> uh hey. the views expressed. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a conversation we should have <laughs> with everybody's call? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> well, shout out to that. That was Thank great. You. A woman's touch. Ladies I love y'all. Gentlemen. All right. Thank you so much for watching our video. Now, if you don't mind, can you do us one more favor? Hit that subscribe button and also tap that bell notification. That way you're alerted about all of our live content, our live episodes, behind the scenes information, also live interviews with some of your favorite guests, and plus many more right here on Blacktop TV. Also, if you need more information about the show, follow us on Instagram, the Blacktop. That's D-A-B-L-A-C-K-T-O-P, and you know me. Ha! I'm a poor lady, though. I rhyme all the time. And that's about it.